You know, something interesting situation happened to me again. I have in the Nisco called Halfway with Rainman and one of my members in high school. After finished the musical, the actor and the actress were standing out of the stage, both taking picture with the audience. While taking picture, I think when is that? <laughs> I thought I really <laughs> enjoyed American life while taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was so happy and I could leave memory of pictures in my life. I could find my new personal space, which can familiar with new friends, new Americans, and I have confidence about relationships. Meeting people like Joey, <laughs> because I really was working well at single lesson. I loved my students and their parents. But one day, the mother of um, the mother said to me, "Oh, teacher, I like your teaching style, and we love you, but we want to give our children some chance to study English medium." So they moved. I was broken heart with it. That's why I started studying English. Then I registered, registered, registered in class and uh, registered. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think. Private <laughs> institution. You know, I went there at 6 30 a.m. every day before I went to go work. And after that, I entered into, I, I was always into the game, teaching young learners in English. So when I knew I'd go to the Columbia Montessori School, I was excited. I met Jackie. Jackie was the teacher of the class. She was teacher of she showed me her passion for her students. She tried to give chances to the whole student and control the student well. You know, I'm a kindergarten teacher, so if the teacher doesn't control, there will be a really big problem. But she did. We talked about education for young learners, and we found we have the same opinion about education. So after that, I really wanted to go back there. I did. I went there. So I, I taught some translational PA for young learners, Peggy Taki, and we made together the stop. And after school, their parents came to Columbia Montessori School. They said, hey, mom, hey, dad, look at this. It's Korean game. And I was No, she stimulated me, and this experience really useful to me. After I go back to Korea, I remember her passion and teaching skills when I feel that my work is hard. And I remember another lot. Actually, <laughs> I never have thought about a role model, but I possess a role model. 
that is Captain Square. I never forget her passion, pure and expression of affection. One surprise thing was that we were interested in children's book together. We share some ideas and various teaching materials with the children's book. I love that. You know, I thought this is a real teacher's life that I want. Thank you, Dr. Square. And I changed many things after joining this internship course. When I prepared my lesson, I found how important it is to cooperate with each other and why, what age is appropriate to me to teach while teaching GRP Guru and students of Columbia Middle School and Aki Guru. You know, I could be a fortune teller. <laughs> I'm a fortune teller. <laughs> and I could be many kinds of animal. And I, I could know how difficult to make bear sound. <laughs> And so after that class, I realized that my teaching is appropriate, my teaching appropriate <coughs> young number. <laughs> and at this moment, I want to say thank you. Thank you to them, and thank you, Linda, thank you, Dana, thank you, my doctor friend, and thank you, Jimmy, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and my peers, you are Thank you because you know my conversation and my grammar was really terrible. But when I ask you guys, when I ask to you guys, can, how can I say like blah blah? And you say, why not? I can I can teach you like that or let's check my grammar. I really say I want to really say thank you, you guys. I I remember you guys. I can put it. Your, your name and your everything. So, <coughs> people are aware. It's my favorite Korean proverb. I'm not a rich woman economically. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my mom's credit card. <laughs> Thank you.